everyone and welcome to Avorion, at least that's how I think it's pronounced. It is an early access game that is coming out of early access in a few days, and as such the developers decided to take the risk and give me the key, which was very nice of them, uh, so that I could try it out. And well, we'll see how that works out, but in some respects it's very similar to other games that I've played like the X series of games in that you trade, build ships, and fight NPCs, explore, and that sort of thing. Uh, it has a multiplayer mode though, a co-op mode in particular, and so in that sense it's sort of like EVE Online, but it, in one big respect it is different from both the X series of games and EVE Online in that you get to design your own ships. So it's sort of like Space Engineers. Especially in the, in the way that the ships are constructed in blocks, right? In Space Engineers, you manufacture these little blocks and put it together. Uh, but there are differences between Avorion and that as well. So it sort of hints at these other games, but it's very different from all of them. And uh, we'll just take a look. I've done the tutorial once, but I'll run through the tutorial again for your benefit. It's a pretty smooth and simple tutorial, so I decide it's probably a good thing to just go through it. It explains things very well. Actually, let's uh, take a quick look at the settings here. Uh, so the game settings, uh, quite a few options, including prograde and retrograde marker. I'm just gonna have prograde actually right now. There are quite a lot of markers uh, that pop up. So uh, at points, I was a little bit confused and you can uh, remove some of the markers, I suppose. So there is that. Okay, so then video settings, uh, well, V-Sync, uh, FPS limit. I've got the FPS in the upper right hand corner and right now even though I don't have any limiting on it seems to be at 60. Uh, fog amount, normal, fog quality high, particles quality high. Um, those are the max settings there. Uh, this shaders, I'll keep it on compatibility, super sampling, um, bloom is on, ambient occlusion, ultra, ultra, yeah. I think, given the nature of the game, it's probably possible to play it at the max settings without too much trouble. But uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, sound I've moderated a bit and uh, controls, it'll go through that in the tutorial, so. Yep, and apparently there's possibility of mods, so I don't have any. So, single player, uh, create new, default at Galaxy 2, seed, uh, there's just a seed. Collision damage full, difficulty could go up to insane. I, I think that's probably, the yeah, that's the AI stuff, initial standings with them. So there's uh, relations like that. So yeah, we'll go with this. I am not playing online, yes. So you can play with friends as a co-op. I, I don't think it's anywhere near the like scale of EVE Online or anything like that. I think it's just a small co-op kind of thing, but I'm not sure. I haven't tried the multiplayer yet. Okay, press spacebar to continue. Okay, so... I think we want to... So, shift and mouse lets you uh, go away from mouse control mode. And what I want to do is get the tutorial up. Uh, I want the tutorial full. Yes, there's a bunch of tutorials here, as you can see. So yes. Use the mouse to look around the sector. So we look around. Okay, mouse wheel to zoom. We're a little drone right now. Yes, we will automatically steer. One full rotation. And then if we want to do free look, left control at the same time and we do free look. Okay, and then when we want to select things, left shift, and we can click continue. Uh, we can always restart the tutorial, as I just did. Okay, W moves forward, and then S flies back. As you can see, uh, it is a limited speed sort of thing. So, not like the Elite Dangerous control, more like practically ever, every other space game. Uh, so, continue. Hardcore brake, you might have to, you might have inertia, but you can see it sort of reduces your speed automatically when you're not pressing W. But uh, you will have some inertia that you might need to boost backwards to compensate for. That is my velocity display, yep. 
Blue means you're flying in the direction the ship is looking. Orange means you're in the opposite direction. Okay, and then we can strafe using A and D. Okay, asteroid has been highlighted. That's an asteroid. And we will use middle mouse to click on it. Flying towards it and space to boost. Uh, max speed is 300 meters per second with this little drone, I think. Okay, we're not quite close enough for it. Alright, mining lasers. So you can, of course, do mining. Of course. So we want the targeting circle to be in green if we actually want to get anything out of it. You can see in the bottom right that it's showing me how much iron I'm getting from this. I've got 274 now. And a little bit more. Okay. 275. Okay, resources are collected automatically. Okay, and uh, yeah. Alright, so shift continue. We all start with mining drone, and if we die, we still have a mining drone. Okay, so we need to find more ore, and it's the shiny, shiny asteroids that have the best ore. The other asteroids have a little bit of ore. And you can see there are NPCs around, but this is a friendly sector. So, uh, no hostiles expected. Okay, we still need 300 more. There's a lot of sideways inertia. It's a, little, you know, it's a cute little guy, this drone. I'll give him that. Okay, well, I'll leave the half mind asteroid. Uh, click on this button to found a new ship. So, shift, click that button. And we get to name the ship. I'll call it Discovery. Um, I don't know about a lion ship. Uh, to just uh, start building the ship, we have to pay 500 iron. Okay, and then we have to enter building mode. So,. Clicking this button up here, building mode. So this is one way it's very different from Space Engineers, obviously, where you would sort of manufacture the blocks and put things together block by block, um, which frankly I found a little bit tedious in Space Engineers because I'm so used to Kerbal Space Program where everything's in the menu, but here everything's in the menu and uh, you don't have to wait for it and it's not a huge production line. I know people like the production line. Okay, uh, so if you like the production line, that's not how it quite works here. But uh, here, we just uh, put things together. The, um, hold right, right mouse button and move the mouse to look around. Yes. Uh, okay, and then we've got the stats on the, on the right there. Acceleration, deceleration, velocity, yaw, pitch, and roll. And all the energy information. So that's good. Red stats are bad. Okay, uh, shipbuilding tools down here. We've got grid size, scale step, view, mirroring, uh, modify entire ship, merge selected blocks, rotate entire ship, and you can't delete more than the selected blocks or your ship with safe mode. Okay. We've got the hull, a blank hull, armor, engine, cargo bay, crew quarters, thruster, Directional thruster, gyro array. Okay, you can show or hide this window by holding space. Okay. Okay, well, it wants to hold space, but you can just click this. You can drag and drop blocks. This I like. Um, you can have quick access, so if I want engines, so I don't have to bring this up again. We probably want some crew quarters, um, the full four-way thrusters that's what that is and then there's this directional thruster one um sure gyro ray inertial damper i don't know if i need an inertial damper or not to be honest dock though that's probably good i probably need everything oh there's solar panels i don't know how iron gives you solar panels but okay um okay continue 
Okay, so let's get a block. Now, green shows the direction of motion, I think. And so we want the engine to be over here. And what it's saying is, while holding this, uh, hold A and you can stretch it. Or uh, we could have S and then I'll change that direction. Or D, this, this way. And that changes how much... Uh, how much your stats are. You can see the max velocity increases if I make it bigger like this. Nope, I need, need to actually attach it. If I increase it further, it goes to 188 plus 188 plus 165 plus 137, so it's affected by that. So let's, uh... It shows the cost there, 139. Well, anyway, we've got 10,000 credits, it looks like, and 1,000 iron. This is gonna, this thruster is gonna cost 63 iron. Oh, I made it a little bit too wide. Shoot. Now, that that's one thing that I haven't figured out how to do properly. And you see, I've still got this selected. Um, I want to get rid of my selection so that I can... Now, I can click that block and maybe... But it's the sort of block I haven't placed that gets resized. And I can't figure out how to get rid of this block, that this hypothetical block that I've got floating here, you see. Uh, if I press delete, it's the block I placed get, that gets deleted. So, well, I guess I'll just replace the block. Uh, that may or may not be ideal. I think this is the right size. Yeah, okay, if we wanted to match it, make it perfectly, <laughs> perfectly rectangular, this is what we've got. Alright, so, but we can select by doing a middle mouse button and then pressing delete if we want to delete it. And it auto saves it too. Looking at you, Kerbal. <laughs> uh, use engine thruster and hull blocks to extend your ship. Uh, build thrusters to make sure it can break and turn each direction. So. Um, the thing about the this thruster, this uh, thruster array, it, it's um, it's got thrusters all over the place, and I suppose if we don't need to worry about fuel, that's not a problem. But there is a certain in inelegance about it. Um, this directional thruster has forward and back, but I guess. Let's see, and oh, I wanted to rotate. Um, uh, no, that's the whole ship. Um, if I just wanted to, okay, undo that. If I just want to rotate this, I press R, and then I rotate it like that. So, okay. And then I want to mirror. Um, red is X. Yeah. So then, then we have the side-to-side -side thrusters, and then if we press R again, we can roll it this way. And uh, this time we got a mirror uh, Y. And we can have the top and bottom thrusters. Well, it's okay. Um, it shows things that we need up there. Yaw rotation speed is bad. Roll rotation speed is poor. Great thrust is very low. Very weak compared to other ships in this region. Mm, this is all bad. But first of all, let's get the forward and backward facing thrusters. So R... I want to... I want to just have these like this, and I want to mirror in X again. Like that. Like that. We don't, it doesn't have us with roll, I don't know why. I mean, it looks like there's like 25 of these bloody thrusters on here, but I guess it just counts as one. So roll doesn't work very well. Um. 
Hold on, I'll have a plan for that. So, we've got these things, and I need a crew quarter sort of deal. No, that doesn't look right. Let me undo that. We'll just have one block for that, even though we've been doing all this symmetry stuff. Okay, so A... I don't know how big a crew quarter we want. It doesn't cost that much. Oh, we definitely don't want it to be sized like that. No, not that side either. Yeah. Hey, um... Sure. I don't know if I agree with the positioning of the lighting, but there we are. Still doesn't read any roll. Hmm. Okay, so... Let's get some more directional thrusters. Wow. Okay, no. Okay, now we have roll capability. Hmm, maybe I should shift those back though. Okay. It is satisfied with this ship. Now, you know this is not how I would normally design a ship. <laughs> I would much prefer going straight into Blender and like actually modeling the ship <laughs> than doing this. But here we are. Um, G apparently is another way of bringing that up. There, we could put turrets. Mining turrets, chain gun turrets. You know what? They didn't ask me to, but heck, why not? Why not? And mirror an X. So we're gonna have. Chain gun turrets. Oh, we need to get gunners then. Interesting. And mining turrets as well. Uh, that did not mirror the way I thought it was gonna. Not enough slots for civil turrets. Install. Si oh, we don't have enough capacity for these turrets. Okay, I'll need to select that, delete. Um, let's not mirror and let's have just one mining turret then. I doubt I'll do mining with this because we have the drone anyway. Okay, escape. So that's our ship. So we can change back to a drone at any time. Uh, and I'll just let it explain. We can press T when there's no target selected or simply press the drone thing up here, exit to drone. Yep, there's a drone. So now we're controlling our little drone, you can barely see it. Okay, we can use it for scouting, collecting resources. Continue. But we want to return to the ship, so we press either F or T to interact with it. And we might have to reposition the camera. Left Alt to move the camera around. So... Yeah. You there's a purpose for left shift, left control, and left alt already. You can move the camera up here if you would prefer. That does give a better view. You can see little thrusters firing. Okay. We can also go side to side. Alright, uh, hold left alt to adjust to the default. Okay. Continue. We need a crew. Yes, we can hire crew members at any station. That looks like a station ship menu. So, ship menu. We could press P apparently. Crew tab. Okay, so we need four gunners, two miners. I want an engineer too. Lost eight crewmen, gained. Uh, I don't know how I lost crew people, but okay. Some parts of your ship only work if there are crew members who maintain them. When you extend the sh your ship, you'll need more different types of crew members. Okay. I sure hope it is right that I've got the crew peoples. Alright, we're ready to explore the galaxy. Um, click continue and we will start jumping to other sectors. So there's a galaxy map here, obviously you can press M to access that. 
and uh, it's pretty big. You can see there's this. It's got an actual galaxy here, and we're on the very much on the outside of it. And with this current technology, we can only jump within that blue area. So like, it's big. <laughs> it's it's very big. Uh, every square on this grid is a sector you can visit. Every square. So let's let's count. That's a hundred, and that's uh, ten by ten. So that's ten thousand. Uh, yeah, that's ten thousand. It's mind-boggling. Um, so it's it's a million. There's a million sectors. Okay, continue. Sectors with a green blinking dot are sectors from where you are receiving signals that might be worth checking out. Blue radius around you is the range of your hyperspace drive. Uh, colors of the sector show the relations between you and the faction controlling them. Green means good, blue means neutral, red means bad. Once you've visited a sector with something interesting, it's marked automatically on the map. So... We're going to right-click this sector that's in range and enter coordinates into navigation computer in order to jump. So escape to close map. Okay, so it'll have a notification in the bottom right, and then we turn to the sector. It's got coordinates right there, and then we press space to jump. And it's got a, a sort of cute jump animation. I think I have to hold space maybe tap space okay poof <laughs> I have not seen a jump animation like that to be honest just poof okay we've uh, jumped to another sector so up in the top we've got the hyperspace drives energy after a jump is depleted you have to wait to recharges um, ship energy usage is the red bar right at the top there and uh, if the bar is somewhat empty, that means the ship produces more energy than it consumes. So it's showing you how much is actually being used. So you don't want it to go all the way to the top in that case. And then right below it is the stored energy, our batteries. And so we want that to be as close to the top as possible. Okay, now we want to return to the previous sector. So M... Let's go back to that one there. Right click, enter coordinates in the nav computer. I like this tag sector post, uh, uh, posted in chat. Or we could enter coordinates manually. We could add a note too. Those are good features. Uh, we already. No, this one. Wait, I. Oh, oh, it's this one that we have to go back to. My mistake. Switch to sector, switch to craft in sector too. Okay, there we go. So there's wormholes, gates, and stuff like that too. And a search function too. I have memories of Elite having fewer fewer features on this map than this. Now, now Elite is better, but uh, way back when, when it started out, it did not have all those features. Anyway, tap space. There we go. Poof. I'm amused by that. Honestly, in some games, the jump animation is very tedious. And after a while, it gets a little bit old. Okay, if collision damage is too high for you or you simply don't want the hassle we can adjust it we saw that in the difficulty settings okay we finished the tutorial there you go and then after you finish the tutorial it gives this adventurer fellow it says hello please excuse the interruption i was hoping you could help me out hunt for a new legendary element called a vorion so there you go that's why it's called a vorion because of the element according to legends it appeared at the center of the galaxy after the event 200 years ago. Uh, you have to overcome a great barrier and that's where things get tricky. So um, we could say absolutely I'd like to keep to myself. That's great. I'm sure we can help each other out if there's anything you'd like to know. It's weird that 
Okay, 200 years ago, cataclysmic, the event, yes. Um, I'd like to leave now. Um, I, it's weird that he doesn't automatically give me like the first quest or something, but but there is a... But apparently the new mission is right there, reach the center. Okay, well, that could be tricky when you think about it. <laughs> I mean, but then again... This is not the first galaxy I've reached the center of. Um, so yeah. There's trading to be done. We can dock to this station. We can communicate with the station right now. Pressing F. Uh, bulletin board, hire crew, refine raw ores, trade resources. Uh, we've got some spare iron for instance. Uh, but we can't actually sell it right now because that requires us to be docked. We need to be docked to the station to do that. So let's quickly show how to dock. It's actually a lot simpler. It's still reminiscent to me of the X Games in a way. But uh, yeah, docking is quick. You just, you, you are currently docked already. This is it. So we can interact. And now when we go trade resources and I want to sell the 100, it does it. So we've sold it. Uh, now, so the closer to the galaxy, the better the resources are. And the thing to get around here is titanium. Now the iron glows yellowish and the titanium glows whitish. So I'm just sort of looking around for a uh, titanium rock. There's an interesting thing there. Gate to Agonite Threat Beta. So I guess that's a jump gate. What's that? Shipyard. There's a shipyard. So I guess you don't have to construct all your ships. This is uh, South Southeast Gate to Fading of Iron Alpha. Now, uh, this, this respect sort of reminds me of the X Games quite a lot. Uh, oh, there, there's one. That's a titanium asteroid. Now, I don't know about my ship's cargo hold, or like the drone's cargo hold, or anything like that. Those are a mystery to me at the moment. It doesn't say anything about them. For all I know, they're infinite, but that'll be something you'll have to experiment with yourself, potentially. Okay, we are picking up titanium. We've got an encyclopedia entry for titanium. And presumably that will allow us to build stronger ships. Okay, well, uh, I just want to see what happens when I enter a gate. What was that? Oh, uh, let's go for this gate. Fading of Iron Alpha. That, is, that doesn't sound like it's got a lot of resources. Fading of Iron. This one. Agonite Threat. Well, that's promising. I've got guns. Now you see the um, energy usage bar was creeping up there. It's almost at the top. So that's what limits your ability ability to boost. That's a nice well, nice way of having a little gate. Uh, paid 42 credits for passage, so they charge you. But 42 credits doesn't seem like a whole lot. Scrapyard, wreckage. Oh yeah, you can salvage things in this game. That's a possibility. Salvage is a thing. I don't know how it works exactly. Wow, there's a lot of bad things happened here. A lot of little scraps. Well, I think there's time to use the drone to get closer.
I don't know, they seem to be shooting all over the place. Unless I'm mistaken. So that says wreckage, but it's still shooting. Or, I don't know, maybe those is just sparks flying off, I don't know. Oh, I need a salvaging license for the sector. Well... I don't know what they're gonna do about it. <laughs> uh, I just cut that ship in half. Anybody gonna come at me? Uh, I'm not getting anything out of it. This drone is no joke. Oh, we got some something. Oh, that was money. Just one coin, though. Okay, so it's not... Oh, my relations have worsened because I'm doing this. With the oil lept... Oil lept? Oil lept Commonwealth. I'm not entirely sure I get all the little things that seem to be firing, but I don't think... I think those are supposed to be little sparks. I don't think they're actually... Sh this is definitely not shooting anything. I don't know what's going on. Yep, can't really be sure what's up with that. Okay, anyway, I think I'm satisfied with this first attempt at this game. It runs very smoothly. I can pretty much understand what it's all... what it's basically about. But I think I'm just scratching the surface still, even though I've got the basic idea. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.